Hello, it's Sarah. And Kiwi's over there on her perch. I have a cold, I guess. My throat and my voice, so probably isn't going to be very good. Um, but I got this little sugar skull pattern from um, Random Acts of Kindness. Tracy Moreau always puts up little patterns. Um, it gives you all the directions, just like a regular pattern packet would. Um, you will need, and it tells you where to get the sugar skull blanks. Now, I have a husband who likes to tinker, so this is plastic, and it was made on a, three, um, a 3D printer. And supposedly it's paintable, so I wanted to try it. So I had him, this is his first attempt at getting this blank, because he uses other patterns, and then he tweaks that pattern to make what he wants to make. So anyway, this was the first attempt that it was a mess up. But then he ended up getting me three little sugar skulls. And I'm going to, I'll zoom in so you can see. And it actually, I told him he, it doesn't have to be this thick. I think I said a quarter inch, but I think an eighth inch. Like if you look at... So this is a, a laser cut wood piece and I think that is probably an eighth inch and this is a quarter inch. So next time I'm going to have them cut them thinner. But I mean it's a pretty good thing it's just that you, can you see the ridges? So the way it prints is the little printer just goes shht, 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 shht. You know, it fills in. So basically, you end up with a little bit of that as a surface. The bottom is actually, you know, but anyway, in a pinch, it worked out. So this is when he tried to take it downstairs and sand it, and it definitely got smoother, but it also got all like, and because it's not wood, I can, and it's not a right thing, like if it was on this one, maybe I would have been able to just, if it got um, plastic going to the sides, I could have just sanded it. Anywho, what I did was take some gesso. And I don't need to do it now because that's not what this is about. And I, paint, I, gave, I think I gave it two coats of gesso and sanded it. And then it came out with a pretty smooth surface. And then I base coated it with, um, I think, like buttermilk. And I just figured I'd turn on the camera and do this for you in case anyone else had seen the, um, the little pattern she had. Um posted on random acts of kindness. There it is. And this is what the painted ones look like. And I'm just going to pick my own colors and kind of do what I want. But it's so nice that she just has gives us the inspiration. So I already started. This is my little first attempt. And the blanks that she has, I'm assuming that you order from this creative arts lifestyle. And I did look at them. Um, and then I was going to paint it on a round. But I do love that it has the cutouts. That just attracts me. So this little spot right here is cut out. So Joe ended up... <clears throat> <coughs> we got the eyes and the nose, but we didn't get the mouth. <clears throat> so this is how mine turned out. And then this one, I'm just going to even try and tweak it a little bit more. I might not talk as much. Mm. This is coffee, actually. Mm. But anyhow, I did trace the pattern. But it isn't the exact shape. Mm. So the head, you know, but I do think I want to get this mouth. I think I am going to trace this on today because um, yesterday I just did it 
however I wanted and it. I mean, he looks cute, but let me just turn this off. Sorry, I don't have my watch on today. Um, cause I have a little, like, I have eczema. So, um, I had to turn my phone on. So I'm going to hold this. I have paint on that. Um, I just want to get the mouth because the rest of it I'm going to wing and I'm going to show you how I do that. And this is an exact because when I traced it, I didn't be as perfect. Because I really thought I was just going to wing it. But yeah, I like that. And then she doesn't really use black in her design at all. But because I used the black on this one, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do something. I'm going to put an axe right here. So I know where I'm in the shot. Um, I put black little dots because I like to tie it in. So for this one, I already started the heart. And for the, um, oh, sorry. For the flower, I'm just going to draw it on because, again, hers is a little bigger. And my forehead isn't as big. So I'm just kind of going to. Draw the shape that she has and make it a little more petite. That one looks kind of small. Um, and so you don't need a pattern. You, you can draw a sugar skull. I'm sure there's sugar skull um, patterns online. I did this before when I made this out of resin. So I actually have a video. See, that looks too big. I have a video um, of me doing the same thing. It's just not Tracy's design. I just kind of... And I don't know where my sugar skulls are right now because I totally cleaned up my room. Oh, here's one. I'll bet you there's one in here. So these are made of resin. And it's completely, this shape and design was a um, ice, ice tray. And I, uh, like a mold for cake or for ice anyway not for cake for ice and I just made up my own pattern so you can do anything you want you know um, but because I just I don't know why I love sugar skulls I think they're cool maybe I was a biker biker chick in a past life I don't know so this is much smaller but then you can also put, I want to put leaves and I want room for around the eyes and maybe I'll do something around the nose this time or above the lip. So we'll see. So I'm just going to just start painting. Um, I had a visit from my sister, um, my half sister, my dad's daughter. So we had a good time. Um, I went to the casino for, I haven't been to the casino in so long. Oh, and that was, what night was that? I think it was Saturday night, so this is Tuesday. And I thought my voice got <clears throat> rough because we saw a concert and I was yelling. Or, well, not yelling, I was singing. <laughs> and, um... Turns out, maybe I did get a little cold. I'm just going to decide what color I want to make my little flower. I'll be right back. Okay, I got all my colors out. 
Um, just going to bop around back and forth to different, and I'm using a totally tiny brush. This is a 10 slash 0 liner. So I'm going to go in to the black and really keep it inky and try and keep this. I'm not going to do, um, I'm just going to follow this line. see how it looks. I, I think I'll end up closing in on it a little bit with the teeth, but I like that jaggly because this is supposedly all open. So I'm going to leave it like that for now and we can always tweak it. I'm going to paint my flower blue. I think I used like a turquoise blue. Don't worry about the colors because I want you to use what you have. I just don't want my brush too wet. And just don't work. I'm just winging it because everything's so small. It's not like I usually base coat with um, a flat brush. Just want to get it on there. And this is outlined in pencil, which I can just paint over it. After a couple coats, it will um, be covered. You get, and if you lose the shape. We can fix that when we add the details. That's why I love the details. It brings everything back to life. Yeah, you can still see the ridges. Like, I can totally tell <coughs> that there's um, ridges. So, there's something called a Glowforge. I want to hear in the comments from those of you who know about this machine. Um, they go for about 5000 and under. Um, but you can make payments. And I looked on Etsy briefly to see what was um, just under like, because what you can do is I could cut wood blanks with it, laser cut. So basically like this, like it's, it's computer programmed, so what I liked about it is because my husband loves tinkering and playing with the computer in that way. Now see how my circle grew, and I think I had a little bit of water on my brush. It just annoys me. So I'm just soaking it up. I just didn't like that. I'll try that again. Dry off my brush. Sometimes when you rinse your brush, the water will be hanging out up here and it'll f like a drip will go down. So that's what happened. And I don't like it because I don't want it to grow. I think I might need um, new bifocals too because sometimes I look at this stuff up close and I'm like, ooh, that's blurry. I think I might need new glasses. All right, good enough. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put a little bit more red. The other thing, Tracy definitely uses um, more. Um, let's say what color? I'm more of a pastel or bright girl, and she goes for like more deep colors. I think. Anyway. <clears throat> So use what you like the best, but this red, this red was way more burgundy, and I went for the um, country red on this one, and I made it much smaller. So that's how you're going to be able to tweak stuff until you until it becomes your style. And for me, that's what YouTube has taught me and doing mixed media because I come from this place of 
I used other people's work and copied it and oh, I, I love it but it'll never be theirs I need it to be mine so I'm learning to let go and let it be whatever you know let a little bit of me get in here and um, I want you to do the same thing just let it be because back in the day when um, we would go to seminars and when I belonged to the local chapter of decorative painters we'd have um, teachers come in and the, one of you guys commented too about how if you asked you know well how did you do that or whatever they would just take the brush right out of your hand and do it instead of saying do it the way you want to do it like don't worry about how I did it but teach us the technique but don't push that it has to look a certain way I mean but it was their artwork so I don't know it's just interesting um, the freedom that um, mixed media gave me so that's basically it I'm gonna do some shading this is all the um, base coating we really oh I could put the teeth in yeah I gotta put the teeth in and I think I want to use I think I want to use a dotting tool you can't really see on her picture it's so light but you can see that there are teeth I think I do want to use like a dotting tool and it'll also give it texture and we're gonna do dots anyway so it'll play into it and I can always take it off if I don't like it so that's one thing I didn't put out though is white I want to put white out this is titanium white and usually when you do dotting you want a nice clean puddle or I mean like a nothing dried up you need it to be fresh paint and let's see if this is going to be a good size I think I'm gonna try it and I'm just gonna put a few and they don't have to all be the same size But I think I like that. They kind of do look like dots, but they're supposed to look like teeth. And then there's going to be more teeth here. I think I like it. I'm looking at it from a distance. And you can add a gold tooth. But look, that looks kind of teethy. I like that. I like it. I'm sticking with it. More mol they're more molary back there. <laughs> That's cool. That turned out good. All right. And then before I, I just wanted to get that on, but I could have shaded because now I got to wait for that. I'll work on the flower. I took out some uniform blue. And I'm just going to use my little angle brush. This is probably a 3 8 inch angle. Um, just going to put some of this uniform blue around the center of the and if you don't know how to float, you guys, because this is called floating, this technique that I use to shade and highlight, I have lots of good videos where I give really detailed instruction and share that technique. Um, then, like, if it went, if I went out of lines, because I'm going to shade this, too, with asphaltum or, like, burnt umber. But that's just to give it some depth. We can also shade our uh, heart, which I didn't get out that color either. Uh, how about, I have this nap of red. I don't even think it's going to show up. Forget that. I'm going to shade the center of the flower. This is like burnt orange, I think. Tracy, on the design, she has everything listed, but I'm just like, basically, I'm using what's on my desk. And, um, whatever's close enough. See, this is splitting. 
I don't like that. I'll get it though. By the time it's done, it will look fantastic. Trust me. Those teeth make me happy. They're making me really, really happy. Um, Cause see how he looks like he's smiling. I like him or her. Maybe it's a her. And then <clears throat> all she did to highlight the flower was take the base color. So I used this turquoisey color. And I'm just going to brush mix it with a little bit of white right here and mix a little lighter version of that color. And leave it there. And then I'm going to rinse my brush. I don't know how much battery I have. Oh, I have plenty. Rinse my brush. And when you're working this small, I need to really check myself all the time. Because I go big or I go home. <laughs> and I'm just going to make little kind of like, I might need a little bit more white. Just a tad. But little like highlight. Yeah, I don't really see it. But we're going to do line work, too. So don't panic. I just went back over that. Yeah, you can see it. It tweaked it a little. See, look, because by the time you're done, that's what it looks like. It's just like a free-form flowery thing. It's not, it's not in the garden realism. Oh. To do, you know what? Um, I think I'm going to wait on the green um, leaves and the dots. We can do a little shading now. I'm going to be very careful around my dip dots and I'm just going to use this um, asphalt, I think it's called. Yeah, it's just a brown, like a dark brown. And then we can make him look like he's a, a skull. And really, I'm going to follow um, Trudy's pictures. That's why I love pictures, because I'm just going to follow where she put her shading, you know, kind of, to a certain extent. And because the, the blank isn't exact, I'm just going to put it wherever it fits to give it a little bit of a rustic look or, a, you know, an old look. Sorry about that. I see my X and put it in the wrong spot. So I think I'm going to put a little bit up against this side of the flower. Maybe all the way around. Why not? Or just right there. I don't know why. Um, there's a little like indention, an indention right here. Like where the t temple goes. But because this blank isn't the same as hers, I gotta wing it. But that looks good. And then there's the indention here by his jawline. I don't wanna touch those um, teeth because they are not dry. See how cool it starts to look? When you add that. There should be some around the eyes and nose. She has a little like indention thing right above. But I kind of want to do. <clears throat> I think it's fine. Like even in the ones she did. She did it in different places. Like this one has it on the chin. And these don't. These two don't have it on the chin. And then each one of the different noses is different sizes. So she's just whipping it out, you know. Especially if you're giving these as gifts or a little pin for someone. That's what you want to do. Just And then it's more painterly and more natural looking. Um, so I like that. I don't think he needs much more, although I just do think in the middle, something needs to happen in the middle. I'm just going to try 
a spot and if I don't like it I'll take it off like I'm just gonna go above the nose because I have more room up there I don't really have room there but I'm just gonna go hmm maybe to the side of the nose on both sides I don't really like that I mean good enough it doesn't look bad and then I'm gonna go back to my little tiny actually I really need oh here this is even better this is a number 10 slash zero liner Come back down. and we're gonna put little white actually let's do it in I think she did it in the background color well but I do have white on here so you know what uh -uh, I'm going to use white dip dots, white and black dip dots. So this is the light buttermilk I think I used. And I'm going to use a liner brush. And just shape up these flowers just by little strokes. Just going to go. Kiwi, what are you doing, Kay? Huh? Sometimes I just don't want her on my shoulder. Maybe it's because I don't feel good. I think that's too far away. But that looks good. Where am I? See? And then we're just going to put little dots. We're going to put this um, green. This is called, I think, hold on, not black green, plantation pine. And it's like a really piney, like dark green. And I like it. That was one of her, and I happen to have it. So I'm using it. But I like how I didn't do two coats of it, and it gives it a light and a dark. So, anywho, you don't have to knock yourself out. You're just going to put... A little swirl if you can so I'm getting my paint more thin like inking it up a little bit and I'm just gonna see where I want to put a little swirl like type thing move the piece so that you can pull it in the direction you want to go and I'm gonna hold it and I'm just gonna try swirlies are hard to do for me oops put my fingernail in it And you can tweak it as best you, you know, it's your piece. But see how the thick and thin of it, it, it looks cool. If you leave a little bit um, sheer. And because I have enough room, I think I'm just going to put a leaf over here, not another swirl. I'm just going to put a leaf. And to do that, I'm going to use, like, I think this would be, I, I really want to use like a small filbert, like a tiny filbert or a tiny flat, but I think I used like a number one round, but I'm going to just see if I have a tiny, see this is a really, but it's beat up. Because um, to make little leaves, and this is the thing, when you have the right tools, man, it makes life easier like this is a small filbert I think I'm gonna try this this is a number four and it's pretty beat up but like if I had a number two which I probably do I just have so many brushes I can't find it ah a number, another number four see how that's shaped more like an oval I'm just giving it another quick glance but I think I'm going to try it with that. I'm really good at um, flat brush leaves too, but when they're this small, I don't want to get carried away. But if I just load the tip of this brush, so basically, I'm going to load the tip and I'll practice a few. I'll show you. 
I just decided to put my paints on deli paper because then I'm not wasting all of my um, palette paper. So I'm loading the tip. And you just want to set it down and kind of go sideways and see how you get that little point. But see, this has a, a rogue um, hair. So I'm just going to cut that off. And then I think I'm going to use this. I think it's going to work good. So here I go. I'm just loading the tip. And just let it be whatever. Don't, like, see, that looks great. Great job, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, don't, because leaves could be blowing in the wind or whatever. You know, it's just, it's a little, and to me that looks too, like, boop. I wish one of them, oh, well, it is. This one's pointing that way, that one's pointing that way. I can get carried away, though, because they're so fun to do. I think I might do one more, like over here. And just see what happens. Oh, I can take a Q-tip and just slim it down on this side. Ta-da! I like it. Then the final, um... I want to highlight and shade my little um, heart too, but I just don't have those colors out. But she also puts these little dip dots. So I'm going to do black on the shading side. Just tiny, teeny tiny. So this is my smallest stylus tip, but I'm really trying to step away from, or, you know, not pounce it at full strength. So tap it a few times and then. And then I'm going to do the white to pull the teeth in on the highlighted side. And again, you can tap it out to get it smaller. And what else? And then gold I used I ended up using gold because I love gold on hers she has like a complimentary color I guess that's orange blue on her pink one and then she did pink on the blue one um, but her flowers are much like this is really petite this flower like you can just look this flower is much bigger this heart is much bigger so, and because they're hand painted, no two are the same. But this is my favorite gold. This is called, um, not this one, this one. Glorious gold, right? Yeah, glorious gold, I'll show you. Let me just paint it. Decor Dazzling Metallics Glorious Gold. It's such a beautiful color. I love it, and um, oops, don't need too much. Just need a little puddle. And I'm going to gently with, let's see. My little stylus go around his eyes and I'm going to start here you know Maddie is six months clean today he's in the basement working out um, he's on methadone which I think is really helping so um, he doesn't have cravings. His brain is able to um, heal. He's getting back into a routine of exercise and eating right and being social, all the good stuff that life has to offer. So we're really proud of him. And we're going to probably go to dinner tonight. Um, really happy that I've been going to Al-Anon as well because I've been able to let him have his process. I'm not imposing my will on him because all I can control is myself. I can control my responses. I don't react. I try not to. I mean, it's a progress. It's a process and I'm I have made so much progress and 
seeing the changes it's just so good I wish I went sooner and um, so if you hear rap music that's the one thing <laughs> I would like to change about that but he just likes to work out to rap music he likes a lot of different music but I just don't like rap music I mean I like some of it but look how cool that looks and then I think she has um, some more white dots, uh, right? I'm gonna go a little smaller on it on his cheeks. You can't really see them. Maybe I would do so. She has this, this, this. Like I could do blue. Why couldn't I do blue? One, two, three, or like green, you know? But that's basically it. I gave this guy a couple gold teeth because that's what I, I used to like to do on my um, resin ones. I would always give him a gold tooth. And then you can paint on a tooth. You can do whatever you want. I think I outlined these gold dots. Oh yeah, I gotta shade and highlight my heart. It's a pen. Um, but that looks cool. I like his little, um, I think I am gonna give him a gold tooth. He's just chilling like a gold tooth villain. Didn't you ever hear that saying? I'm chilling like a gold tooth villain. That's so cute. I love it so much. All right, I'm going to do another one. But that's it, you guys. You know what? Let me just do the heart while I have you. What's the big deal? I just don't have the paint out, and I feel like I'm taking up so much time. I think Rookwood would be a nice color. I'm just going to do a little of that and a little bit of this. The Hot Shots. Actually, it's called Neons. Fluorescence is such a cool color to highlight with because these little details just make me so happy. That's why. Uh-oh. I just got gold paint all over me. I think I dropped my brush in it. Yeah, I think Joe's calling me to um, tell me he wants to go out to dinner. I just don't feel good, but I'm going. Got gold all over me. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to just shade this side. And when it comes to what side do I shade, I don't know. I shaded that side of the center, so I'm going to shade this side of the heart. And it's just to give it a little dimension and then I'm going to highlight the other side and I'm going to put a little dot of white. I just don't want too much uh, water on my brush. When you're working such a small um, piece it helps if you really really be careful about how you load the brush. If you keep messing up it's probably because of the way you've loaded the brush um, and then she just has a tiny little dot on the uh, highlighted side but that's really wet I just don't want it to the dot to bleed I'd rather not make a dot I want to make a little stroke and we'll see how it goes Oh, it came out all right. What do you think, guys? So once again, thank you, Tracy Moreau, or however you say your name. Let's see. Because my my nieces like married a, a Moreau. A Mer oh, yeah. Anyway, there's it's a few different letters, and so I get so confused. But she's awesome. Do some painting today, guys. Thanks for watching.